Hello, I'm back again. It's Nanny to read another story. So here we go. This one is about there was an old woman who lived in a shoe. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe with so many children, what could they all do? Every day they have some fun, but not until all the chores were done. On Monday, they have clothes to wash and sheets to clean with a splish and a splosh. Spinning around in the big machine, the washing is soon all fresh and clean. Now watch them pull with all their might. They've tied the washing to their kite. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe with so many children and so much to do. On Tuesday, every child must choose some polish and a pair of shoes. They scrape and brush and polish hard in a line out in the yard. Later on, they go for a swim. We put armbands on and jump right in. They laugh and dive and splash about, and towels are ready when they get out. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe with so many children, how time flew. On Wednesday, they get on their knees to pick some carrots, beans and peas. There's lots of digging, gathering berries and filling bowls with piles of cherries. Then it's music time for girls and boys. Lots of singing, lots of noise. They dance and sing and twirl around and make a really lovely, lovely sound. On Thursday, a trip to the vets to get a checkup for the pets. Once they are home, they brush the fur and they listen to the kittens purr. On Friday, it's off to the park to play. A happy way to spend the day. A picnic's packed, the buggy's full, and don't forget the bouncy ball. By Saturday, the cupboard's bare. The old woman sits in her chair. She writes a list of the things they need with so many hungry mouths to feed. Sunday is the day of rest. See them in their Sunday best. All in a row, one by one. Can you remember? the things they have done. That's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a little story about a lovely old woman who lived with lots and lots of children and lots and had lots and lots of fun times. And I hope you have lots and lots of fun times too, Eva. So that's the end of the story and I'll say bye bye for now. So he's a great big hug and a big big kiss to you we love you lots and lots and lots big kiss